Dad, should they have, should they have like the funny eyes that, like their eyes are going different directions, or should their eyes be closed because they're peeking? Uh, whatever you want, whatever your style is. Well, wait, no, my pack is here, but like all our clothes and stuff. I do have my sleeping bags and stuff. You round it up your own pack. So, how many, how many meals? Okay. Okay. This fool's meadow. I think that we've reached the actual meadow, but it's merely a farce. <laughs> it went down so fast. <laughs> There's still a long way to go, but we're gonna take it's a break. It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, it's gonna take all day. But we're gonna reach the meadow 
and and the meadows are gonna eat some food. Everything, but I guess. Oh my gosh, Dad! Mm -hmm. I need to fill up my water here. What's a good setting to have? Dad, take a picture of our pretty lady. There goes a little more. Just do that. Guess what? Guess what, Griff? We're at the meadow. Whoa. It's a big mountain. Amazing. I can get it wet for you. Thank you. I can't lean over in this. <laughs> Come here. Watch out for us. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. They don't. They don't. Right through there. Where is Tanner? Take off my veneer. Yeah, oh my gosh. What? This is so, so cool. Why don't we just hike up through there? No, no, no. no. no, no, no. Come here, I'm gonna hold you tight though. Okay, I help I help bring it too. Okay. You can play in the water at the end while I get across. Keep going. Second switch back. Now it's on to Eagle Ice Screen. Eagle Call Screen. Mm -hmm. And I can't touch and like, oh, I got these 
um, things and that, like the steamer, they have stone tables blocking. Grandpa's gonna pull up on a four wheeler and then drive away. And as soon as like the four wheeler leaves camera shop, um, I'm gonna. Hey, kind of like a hoe or a pickaxe. You're right. <laughs> Yes, you can, Arlie. We're so close. Come follow this Triforce. What? This Triforce means we're on the right track. Let's go. Extinct. Yeah, That's funny. What a beautiful view. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. Is that an airplane or am I just going insane? I saw a box of Huggies diapers on the trail and I walked right through it. Huggies? I don't understand. It's an interesting hallucination. There's the lightning trees. Like the fact that this isn't, it's like holding by like a few inches of wood, this entire tree.
Oh my gosh, it's like barely holding on. I know it's so uncomfortable to smile like that. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Give in. Yes, wedge science. Okay, it's going in. You can go in before it shatters entirely. Got it in a couple inches. Oh my gosh. Well, at least it's wedged a little more. It's just sawdust. Is it hanging by? Look at that. Oh my gosh, yes. I think it oh yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh yeah, there are no towels, Arlie, so you gotta just sun dry. You guys can't swim. You don't have swimsuits, okay? I know. She packed it. Be careful. I really don't want to walk in there after you. That would... That would basically ruin my... Hey, stop throwing them close to her, guys. You'll hurt her. Hey, there's fish over there. Where? There's someone jump. Good luck with that. You can just go... When you guys hike the, the cliff today, you can just chuck it off the end of the Oh, we'll use it. What are you doing? I love how they weren't even scared of us. Really. Like, Seriously. I was, tet I was petrified. I, I unzipped my tent and looked out and he looked over at me. And then I unzipped the bigger one and he kind of went away. But then they came back and were just right in the same place. Okay, we're baking. Yeah, and I, I just cut it right down the package. Oh, okay. After I, well, when I was going to the bathroom, oh, the, the oh, yeah. well, it was so dark out there that there was no color. You know, I feel like, like I had my uh, Apple Watch on. Can you flip light, it now? It so dark. I, like oh, see, light, I, I so simulated slow like motion. Yeah. I kind of think mm. the most the university when they go to that place and. Are those your shorts or your jeans? No, where are your shorts from yesterday? Dad, didn't Griffin wear shorts yesterday? Uh, yeah, and then he spilled hot cocoa on him. Oh, Griffin, go get your hot cocoa shorts on. You can't swim in your jeans. Yeah, Griff, do you know where those are? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Take off your shirt, though. Swim with us. Yeah. It's 10 in the morning. Your point? I'm not swimming at 10 in the morning. Did he go put his shirt away? Hi, Daisy. You like the water? Hey, look at me. I will go in the
Those huge floppy ears. <laughs> That's beautiful. I just filled in this morning. He's the same one that was here this morning. You see that deer? Uh-huh. Look at it. He's like, what is that? Look at the size of those ears. Hello. I'm coming, Griff. Get up, Trez. <laughs> Unless you want to get squished again. Save up enough to make it. You want to sit with me? No. Is that your ice on skin? Right now? Sham. Is this dry? Hmm? Is this just sun? And you went up to that, you took that high, high turn and then you had to walk kind of straight up until you hit that, what we call eagle's tree or whatever. I am a papa, um, I'm a papa. Right there, if you were just to turn right and then go into the trees and, and just go right through the trees and up, you would end up right here, like a shortcut. But why, why would... And it's kind of hard because we're not sitting there. I wanted, I wanted so bad to stop there and do it right then, but it didn't work. But why, why do you think 
some of you younger kids, why do you think that wouldn't have been a good idea? <laughs> Grant, did you hear what Grandpa said? It's, it's probably too hard to, to tell you, but, but it was really thick brush, really thick trees, a lot of fallen trees. Um, there's a creek down there that you'd probably have to find out how to, but it, even though it was shorter, there was no promise that we get, you get to the, you get to the lake sooner than if you just followed the path, right? That was already there. And even though the path was longer, it was, it was laid out and you could just follow the path, right? And so... So all of us are on a path in life, whether it's work or schooling or work or schooling, whatever it is, it's probably best, it's probably best if you just follow the path that's, that your parents, may, your parents might have gone down the back. The, they've tried both paths and they know which path's the best path. So you just follow the best path. And so that's that's kind of the lesson that I, I always, I've always, I was talking to my Aunt Lenny at the reunion last week. And, and she said that, I was telling them that we were going to Scout Lake, and she said that your dad told me that the fastest way back to the cars was just to walk to the end of the lake and then straight down, and you'd run into the, you'd run into the path that we came in on. Like that is? Uh huh. And and I go, I know exactly what you're saying because we we used to do that, but it was, it was shorter, but you were walking over fallen trees and and you know low brush where your pack would catch on a branch, you know and. And you get your feet all wet because you'd have to try to find this marshy stuff and and all that kind of stuff. And and that's what made me think of, you know, if there there is a shorter way back, but it's not it's not as safe, and it's not it doesn't give you the promise of getting back to the cars as fast as the one that's already proven. And that's why we always just go back the way we came. So think of your life and things that things that you're doing in life and everything and, and think about the people that are telling you to follow certain certain paths or certain job opportunities or certain schooling or whatever it may be maybe those people have gone tried both paths and they know the right one to do it and it could save you a lot of time and effort a lot of time and um uh, a lot of time and pain and stuff following the one that they've already done. And both paths may lead to the same thing, but one of them is just harder. So why go to the harder one, you know? So even though it might be shorter. So, and then anyway, I'd just like to say, I'd like to just tell you young kids that walk the whole way with, you know, Arlie was just about ready. She was even on the four-wheeler and just thought about how how she, it wasn't, just wasn't that far, and she got off and finished it all the way through, and I thought that was really cool. And all you little kids trudged all the way. That was three and a half miles up the mountain, and so when you guys write your paper this fall, when they say, what did you do for summer? You could go, I went to the top of the mountain, and I typed it with a backpack on my back and nobody helped. Of course, the light of day. Have a campfire floats away. We should just sing the magical It's so pretty. Somebody could do it for me. Oh, I'm a child, my bride. Can I get to sleep tonight? Have I done it? 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 Have
Um, I can't believe my uncle Var made it. He must have been really young. He must have been a lot better help in the dinner and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we would come with, uh, we'd come with, uh, oh, the year mom came, <laughs> the year mom came, it was, again, it was that ridge thing, and we would come down off of, off of the shale, down oh, into camp. Gosh. So there's a big so ridge. You went on here. one spot? What? So oh, mom. This, this is my back. Oh. My, my grandma, yeah, your grandma Ballard, and so I oh, remember, gosh. I remember her during the during the hike. I go, "You having fun, Mom?" And she says, "No, I'm not." <laughs> you know, and you're kind of like, "I'm only ten. You know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and the, the big joke was is <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, we all got to camp, and then Mom and Dad were up here, and they finally got her down here, and she she swears that her arches fell. <laughs> And, and I got her feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fell. And dad, dad just grabbed my two sisters' bandanas and wrapped wrapped them around her ankle and her feet and just tied a knot and said, "Is that better?" And she said, "Yeah." <laughs> and, and, uh, she comes down, come down here, and and that was that was one of the only times I caught a fish because I just threw a line out there with a piece of ramen noodle on it. <laughs> <laughs> and and I pulled in a fish and mom mom was really good at this. She she made she made you feel like you were walking oh, on air when you made, you know, and so so she says, Mm, I'd like to cook that up for me, you know, and so we gutted mm -hmm. it and we cooked it on a rock. And she ate that and acted like that was the best tasting fish she'd ever had, you know. And it probably was because she just she hated the whole trip, <laughs> but, but once we got into camp, she wasn't bad. But she, she that was the last time we ever got her here. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If she had her, if she had a book, she she was the reader in the family, and she just read. And Did she help you I think ready? she brought a book here, and yeah. just <laughs> my, dad and mm -hmm. dad would get a, a blanket on the ground and and just you know, let her, and she just read a book the whole time she was here. She didn't go on any extra hikes or anything. Did she help you get ready? No. She didn't know what we, yeah, we, we were all excited to go on. And I don't understand it, too, because I know they, that year she came, they picked us up from when I was at the Burton School, so I had to have been at least fifth grade, and then we left from there. And that would have been oh, wow. at least into September. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well you went you went after school? Yeah, yeah we went Is that... and we, we the camp at the we camp at the meadow. Make it oh. here. Then, oh the meadow. You know? yeah. Is that just the only time you could go? Like he could get off work or something? Yeah, that yeah, and we back then we always we'd always go Friday, Saturday, Sunday and come home Sunday. That's we, right. And we'd have a testimony meeting here the morning. I think we did that some time ago. Yeah. 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 There was, we, that just kind when of phased out. When you came out. to Shep, we didn't, we yeah, were like, that you kind know, of you needed out. to be back at church. Yeah, when I became bishop, I think that's when that So I maybe out. did it one time. Because yeah, I, because yeah, yeah. yeah. I was five when you were bishop. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's been a really cool tradition. And, and one time me and my dad, when we hadn't gone for a lot of years and he was getting older and I knew he wanted to come. I, I said, Hey dad, we can just do a day trip if you if you don't mind riding on the back of the four wheeler and and and, uh, and he hated he hates four wheelers. <laughs> he, he hates anything like that and but he, he said, Sure, let's go but He'd be riding on the back of me, Tanner. Every time, you know, you should go down to shift or whatever, and it's kind of a jerk, and he'd go <laughs> <laughs> like that every time. And, and going up, going up, going up Snow Mountain, he'd be holding on to me, and I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> in my arms, because he would just be pulling, you pulling back. me back, and I'm just sitting there going. <laughs> 
Come on. <laughs> my arms are just about ready to fall off. But it was so comical because I was laughing my head off. It was so funny. Yeah, he's probably laughing too because he's so scared. You know, like, but and you know, I've got gonna be okay. I, but. I've got all that documented, but it was back in the day of that stupid little digital camera that all the video was silent. Oh, it didn't even have. Great. It didn't even have. You know, so. There are a couple of movies that don't work because it's that old, stupid. Does the video format. work at least? I think so. I think so I think the video does work, it, but so. but yeah. you're just sitting there watching him go, you know, whatever, and you can't you know do what he's doing. But that was a fun time and when we got up on Snow Mountain because that was the first time we could ride the four wheeler up there. We just we we're walking around and. We we did this thing where where you, we felt like we we're on the top of the world, you know, and and of course we joke back, and so I go, you know, you just feel like yelling out anything, and so I go, I hate laundry, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he starts laughing so hard, you know, and, and and then we started making up stuff like, I hate the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Neither one of us even knew if they were football or not. <laughs> and we, we just start, yeah, and he just, he just laughed at the Christmas stuff we were doing. And, and, uh, and there, when you're up on some mountain, there's another mountain that way, and there's a there was a patch of snow that was in the shape of a seven. <laughs> and he he had a crack about that, and I can't remember what it was. We all this. We, we just sat there and laughed. We just we just sat up there and laughed our head off about that about something about how I wonder if next month it'll be an eight or something like that or you know. And uh, it was it was just so fun to be up there by myself with my dad and the boy when I when I yelled I hate the Dallas Cowboys. He just thought that was so funny. Because, <laughs> you know, we were just, it was like Rocky or something, you know, you know, <laughs> climb the top of the world and it didn't matter what you said, you know, because, but, oh, uh, we had a good time. Is that seven still up there? Or is it just I don't know. I haven't been up there for very long. It's probably and, just how it melted. Yeah, like it was here. just, it was just. Unless like it was like a little seven. place where that's where the shade, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be funny if it was. <laughs> that was a good time. And that was just me and him. And I, you know, those are the, those are the fun ones when, because, you know, I don't know of any of the other kids, including Rich. Ru Rudy was good at going and getting dad and going and do, th you know, fishing and stuff. But, but I, that, that made me always feel good. But, but we came down here and, and I said, dad, I am so tired. I'm going to just go go lay on some i think it was back here or something i just laid on some of that green stuff that's under the trees over here and i just said i gotta take a nap so i can get you home and so he just went over and just watched the lake for you know 45 minutes and just enjoyed it to heck you know so is that the last time you went um i think so yeah, I don't. I don't he think he could have hiked old. it. Yeah, yeah. Th it was when he was in his sixties, and so that that's why I, the realization came to me. Tom, you're 57, yeah, I know. The the realization <laughs> came to me when <laughs> you know Reg Reg and Court mentioned maybe ten years. You know, wait wait for ten years to come again. You know, or something. I'm going. I'm 67, guys. I don't think I'm. I think this might be it. You know, mm -hmm. so no way. But, but I'm I'm not. It's, you no, guys it's no big. It's no big for me. It's no big for me to to jump on a four wheeler and come up here for yeah, the day. You know, I mean, it, it's not. Well, a, it's not a big deal. But. I remember a time or two that we went and Grandpa couldn't, and I felt so bad that he couldn't come. It must probably was just one time. Wasn't it? I don't think he was coherent him. enough to know that we were up here without him. Well, right? I, it must have, maybe it was the year that you took him up here because we went and we knew he couldn't make it. No, I wouldn't have come up twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Yeah, I, I, I kind of remember that. Said, 
man, it'd be sure fun to go up Scout Lake. And I said, well, why don't we just drive up, you know? And that was back and it was just the blue four wheeler, I remember. Yeah. I didn't have a picture of it too, I think. Yeah, you do. Have you guys standing up on Snow Mountain? I remember, um, I remember the year he was here with us and stuff. I had, I found a rock that was shaped like an axe head. And I was like, I, I don't know if I asked him or what, but I was like, I wish I could make this into a tomahawk or something. And he just like got a rope out and lashed it perfectly to the, it, to the you? stick. I think so. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty so sure you do. I think I do. Um, and, uh. And it just, it was just the perfect lashing to it, you know, like where it was just perfectly secured and stuff. And I was just like, oh, sweet. I'm going to go try and cut something with that. And he's like, oh, no, you can't cut anything with that. It'll break right off. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, but it, like he did, you know, the perfect thing for it. But he knew like, and also that year he taught me how to make smoke rings. Like he got a stick and like just moved it kind of uh up and down. Yeah, yeah like up and down and stuff and i still do that with whenever i have a match you know whenever i light a can like a birthday candle or whatever I'll, i move it up and down and look at the smoke rings and think of grandpa yeah. it was just a fun little practical he, thing he that he always, taught me and it was fun to think of that he, he always had a piece of rope or a whatever on these trips where you know when you cut your finger and He'd reach in and, and then back down on the back for the first aid kit with two band aids. And that's all you need. <laughs> just, no, <laughs> no need for us. He grabbed that and, you know, of course she said, and you know, you just cut it on the lip of the Vienna sausage can. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, stuff and, Anyway. Not even from nature. It was just <laughs> the food um, you brought in. Got... <laughs> yeah. Is that all you ate? Is like what... Oh yeah. Have you been able to remember what you ate? That, that's so. I know on the trail. Uh, on the trail, we would have. There was back then. There was king bee jerky, and you got two of those. Probably that you had a can of Vienna sausage, and maybe some hard candy of some kind, but they would either be cinnamon discs or butterscotch discs. Oh. The ranchers really didn't. Root beer barrels. Yeah, root beer barrels or something like that. And then, man, I just, I know that there was, I know that there was pudding involved, but I think it was instant. Oh. You, you would just, just add water. Of a lake. You know, that kind of thing. It was just... Not even milk. Everything was instant. It was, it was like what Tanner was using today, except really primitive. You know, where you'd... You just add the water from the lake? Yeah, too. yeah. You. Oh, yeah. And, and that's what I was telling Mom today while we were pumping all that water. Straight I lake was saying, water. We would just... You could just make sure there's We would go to Coors Creek and go... <sighs> you know, I mean, it was... We there was no such I thing as doing that at Coors Creek. Yeah, I there was no such thing of of filter and water. That that's why it was so simple. We didn't have to carry anything. It was just our sleeping bag and a pair of undershorts. <laughs> didn't dare go poop in the woods. You know what I mean? It, it was just you know and <laughs> and uh, man, I can't remember what we'd have. For, I know a pound of bacon was Ramen, real. I guess, uh, we fish. would just do one pound of bacon and he would cut them cut them in half and just fry them on this rock i remember that and, and we would, would it take? i remember that oh well there was five Power. of us there was five <laughs> of us and he cooked those on there and then we'd hurry up and and fry a ballard biscuit out of that grease